It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Cambodia and it's a bottle of Kingdom Pilsner from the Kingdom Breweries. It says it uses the, only the finest malt, hops and yeast to produce this Pilsner. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'd like to thank my friend Real Ale in 140 for this. He used to do a couple of beer reviews on YouTube, but now he's more of a a blogger. Likes to blog about local and British craft beer, so check him out, Real Ale in 140. You'll find him online. Thanks, Chris. This beer, look at this. Yes, it kind of looks like a Pilsner. Slightly hazy, as you would expect. Nice levels of carbonation. It's a mellow yellow type of colour, if that makes sense. It's a one, two finger, or one to two finger, white head. Let's get the aroma. It smells pretty decent. Nice and lemony, nice and spicy, nice and bready and malty. A little bit of citrus pine in there going on. That dryness from a from a pilsner. What I'm how I can pick up that dryness, because dryness is not an aroma, is I pick up like a white pepper and it's a mixture with that lemon and it almost smells dry. Let's check it out. Cheers. And it's exactly what a Pilsner should be. It's crisp, light and refreshing with a nice amount of carbonation. Get that spiciness on the back end. That is probably the Sars hop that's used in the beer. It's nice and sweet. It has that lemon taste. It's got that kind of white pepper taste and it is in fact quite dry let's give the label a little read here for you Cambodia's lush mysterious jungles hide more than the splendors of and Korean majesty. Deep in these green bastions, rare beasts roam wild. It's very small. Sorry, I probably need to concede into the fact that I need glasses one day. I'll have to go to the opticians. The elusive clouded leopard, the strange plated pangolin, the stalwart coppery if not mythical at least immensely difficult to find kingdom pilsners cambodia's first truly premium beer celebrates this an enigmatic empire singular in flavor and a little hard to track down kingdom's rare quality is well worth the adventure i wanted a little bit of a description on the beer to read to you we didn't get it, it was more of the story of Cambodia and its mysteries and its cats and its mysterious brewery. <coughs> Could have done with a little bit of info on this beer. But then again, I can give you that info, can I? I can tell you about the beer. I don't need to read labels. I stopped for years and it's just I think it's just because it's a quite a 
a difficult beer to get your hands on that I thought I would just read it out to you. Um, so is it a Pilsner? Yes. Is it a decent Pilsner? Yeah, it's alright. Would I buy it again? Most certainly. I'd buy this over some of the mass produced lagers out there in the pubs. rating it's crisp it's light it's refreshing it's malty it's bready it's got a little bit of biscuit tone in there it's a lager it's a pilsner it's got some spice it's got some lemon it's got some dryness to it it's pretty decent pretty decent beer seven out of ten seven out of ten yes i buy it again Thanks to my friend Real Ale 140 for supplying the beer for me. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.